Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kathleen Encrypted and we're back with more workers and resources. And since I know you love to start an episode with an earthquake, here you go. Chaos! That feels like a very strong earthquake. Okay, so... I'm guessing that's a localized earthquake. So... You are on fire! Run! Run! Go help! Uh, you say no fire, you say no fire trucks are coming to help. That's concerning. So, uh, technical service, that's fine. You should be okay. That's bad. That's very, very bad. I wish I could prioritize you. Considering nothing is coming to help. Uh, the house is fine. How am I going on people? So have a lot of people so i should be okay 4.6 and it was on the construction yard so it happened here really doesn't feel like it happened here i don't see any damage here uh game are you confused or just because the epicenter was here the damage only hits here i really wonder how the range works it will be interesting to figure out uh, please save, please save, please, please, please. <laughs> I don't want to lose all my food and all my resources and then... Uh, okay. Phew. Okay. That was... A, ooh, uh, ha, ha. We have a little bit of a... Population... Too much population here. I can fix that. I can move them out of here into the new city. I can very easily do that. But first, this. Okay, so that's done. Uh, did we really not lose anything? Happy times. Okay, well, we survived yet another earthquake. Thankfully, it was only a 4.6. I'm really dreading the moment we get some really monstrous one. Oh, look, fire. Um... You were jealous and you wanted to catch fire too? Also, what's happening here with the traffic? All of you want to go... Do I need to start burning those vehicles? Okay, we have a problem. We have a traffic problem. So you guys want to acquire resources, right? Right. So you leave from here, you go through here... No, you don't. You take... What path do you take? What do you consider the shortest path? You're gonna use this, right? No. So you go through the fastest route. So you use these. But how is this connection faster than this? How did you get here in the first place? I need to watch this. So you're coming back. Uh, and you're gonna connect through there. Yeah, because I want you to use this. Why are you going through the city? That is bizarre. And of course now they stop now that I'm watching them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now you're bringing resources. Okay, you're going to buy bricks. Let me follow you. Let me see where you're going. So you want to cross this, so that's your way of exiting through here. So you use this because you consider this the fastest route over using this highway. Mm. Why? Is that little node the problem? Is it because this is just a regular dead road? Okay. Become asphalt. Let's find out if that's the case. And then you're gonna cross through all these, go there. Yeah, because the last thing I want them to do is to go through the city. I know how to block them, but I do want them to use the highway that I have here for that reason. 
because in reality you should go down up across follow this turn around and go down yeah, i might need to use a sign there to stop it but since we started the episode with a bun i didn't talk about research so i've been doing a bunch of research since time has passed while I was doing all the building for the second sitting and everything. And we have progressed a lot. Obviously, we haven't done anything for the medical university yet. We've done engineering, advanced engineering, engineering study, build production, road vehicles, and now train production. So this will continue. I completed all of those for metallurgy, uh, foreign connections. We've also, I've also done... Uh, semiconductors, electronic circuits, bauxite, bauxite purification, aluminum conversion to aluminum oxida, oxid, oxida, oxid, oxid, uh, and then we're gonna go for aluminum or aluminium. It's so confusing because it's uh, it's aluminum and then the product is aluminium. It always confuses me. And then we need to go do the nuclear, which really won't be a thing for a long, long time. Airport infrastructure is ready. All of uh, recycling is ready. Fertilizer is ready. So that's pretty much all the important bits. Obviously, the small headquarters doesn't really have anything else to do. Here we go. It keeps happening. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Bring them in. Come on. I want to educate people. Yes. Um, so you really don't have much more to research. Those are repeatable and they last for a little while. They're just like a little campaign. So at the moment, you just create educated workers. Uh, let's just see. Okay, this balance itself out. We are A-OK. -okay. Another thing, since my vehicle repair station won't reach the second city, well, not far enough anyway. I did something cheesy. I put a couple road depots over here, moved a lot of the damaged vehicles, and now these guys are going out there to repair them. Also, what's burning? My substation. No. Yeah. See, immediately they send the head they immediately send a helicopter. Now, how far are you? So from here to are you? Here. Over a kilometer. Over a kilometer. Off they go. Can you save it in time or is it gonna melt? The electricity problem, obviously, because, yep, yeah, it's burning. I love when things burn during snow. It's always so fun. <laughs> okay, you saved it. Cool. Happy times. And on that note, I'm gonna skip winter and I will be back. And here we have another toasty building that we will not save for one second. Because the distance is exactly a hundred. So, measuring you from here in a straight line. Yep, under 800. Oh, well... This is becoming tricky, and I need to come up with a better way. Even if I plow all of those, yes, it would be better, but this is meant to be a very fast vehicle. I have literally five helicopters, one, four helicopters, just sitting there doing nothing. So, yeah, fire management definitely needs to be reworked in the logic that the game follows. Okay. Winter is over and we are back. Went without much of a hit, so that's always good. Now, we are in year 1976. We have completed stage 1 and stage 2 of this so-called talents. And we are ready to transition into stage 3. The only thing we are really missing for stage 2 is a population of 8,000. But at our current growth, I think we will probably reach that... Probably by the end of 1978. At the moment we have 
7200 people and we have about 500 16 to 21 year olds that will move on their own floods and of course start reproducing happy times prison is ready but we need some food some clothes and some meat so let's organize that very quickly and then we will talk about improvements so at the moment i have those trucks but they are not enough so let's spend money let's buy one two and let's get the refrigerator truck as well uh eight tons 95 kilometers yep you are the one cool and we're gonna go here and say please feed those people and i need those full to 90 percent yep 90 percent will do i did bring up over here our train so it's ready to start bringing people once we have enough of a surplus on our new town so i terraform this area over here and here is my current plan i'm thinking of moving my gravel industry over here so build a proper high functioning gravel industry with a train connection and connecting it into my main backbone over here move my food and my alcohol production on this side probably on the left side then move some sort of um well not move make some sort of chemical production on this side and a couple other factories based on things I want to produce, like clothes, etc. And have a main connection with trains hitting pretty much the middle of this and connecting to the grid. So this will be a big industrial area. It will make repairing these things a lot easier, I think. It will also make um, managing the waste from those a lot easier. Because I'm planning on setting up a waste processing area around here. So... We will be able to collect all of this, collect the waste from this place over here, and ship everything here. So pretty close, and it should be very efficient. Plus, it will help because we have the coal and brick industry over here, which will produce a lot of waste. So, right next door. So, if we're going to rebuild the gravel industry on this new area, the plan is... Tear this down, improve it, and maybe expand the city just a little bit more. Give it a little bit more space down here. And slowly remove these buildings from here for the production and move it elsewhere. Ideally somewhere in between the two cities. So one option would be over here. So I can transform this into a big construction a big area for the production of construction resources. It's a mouthful. <laughs> we have the power connection, we have everything, so this space should be plenty. And that will make it easy to go back and forth and continue expanding and building outwards. The other thing I want to do is, when I get the other prison going, I am going to tear down this prison. I'm also going to tear down this rail construction office, but there is a trick here. I need to have the other one ready before I do that. And the reason is I need to take these vehicles out, move them to the right one, and then use this, the, this construction vehicles to come here and start deconstructing these tracks and clean up the whole thing. I was contemplating changing these houses, but I don't think I will. I think I will just let them be for, for a long, long while. And once we get rid of our of this industry and we move it elsewhere, I think I'm going to expand this with more crops. So I'll need to work a little bit on the terrain to sort of make it a bit more viable and expand our farming industry all the way here, line it up properly with trains and use pretty much a train to go all the way across and bring our crops over here. I would do it with a C, but I don't have a really good way of doing that. Like, I would probably have to go over the water over here, go across into this sort of makeshift um, shipyard area. I'm not going to build any of them yet. I was just terraforming to try to prepare the space for them and get a rough idea of what I want to do with them. So in the future, we will have a look and plan this properly.
But yeah, I would have to bring all the crops here and from here pass them down. Which I don't think is a really good idea. I think a train will be better and I can use the train pretty much as a bit of a buffer. Since our um, research has gone ahead fairly much, we unlocked the location of other resources. So, Bauxite. We have Bauxite on this little island over here, which I cannot see an easy and cheap way to get to. But I have Bauxite over here and a much bigger yield. So we're going to work with that. And we haven't reached uranium yet, but we will get to that very soon. Another thing is, I've been playing around a little bit trying to get a tunnel to go under this crazy mountain. And I did. I managed to get two... Hello, to say. I tried to manage to get two tunnels going all the way under this. Yes, this will be... a. Uh, funnily enough, it's not as expensive as I would have thought it would be. I mean, it will be expensive in terms of asphalt and concrete, but still, not really. Work days, that will be a thing, but hey, now we have excavators. And pretty much we'll land on this sort of nice flat field. Instead of me messing with all this terrain and try to make this, would you even call it a marsh, with all those little watery areas. And I did the same with some train tracks. I haven't connected them. I don't know if they will stay where they are. They are more of an indicator that, hey, I want to cross this mountain this way. Our buildings here for the iron mines are doing pretty good. I have stopped the iron mine itself, the, the iron ore processing, because I will need a tremendous amount of steel, like 200 for each one of the ore processing plants and 74 for these. So for now, until I get the steel mill going, this will stay on hold. And of course the same is true for this industry. I'll work on that when the time is right. For now I'm backing off on imports for a bit. I want to spend probably the next 3-4 years balancing uh, my finances. Because at the moment we are looking at... Yeah, because at the moment we owe almost 7 million. So for now it's sustainable, but if I keep building big, it won't be sustainable for long. Since we moved those people from the rail construction office, I assigned them into the radio station and now we are increasing our loyalty. Even if it's just a tiny little bit. And of course this area will receive a makeover when things are ready. So let's have a look at our imports this year. We have imported about 57 tons of chemicals, which is 100,000. It's a lot. Obviously still because we keep building, Fuel we are going to negate very soon, same with bitumen. Electronics, it will be a while before we can deal with it. But I think our next priority is really chemicals. Because we lose a lot of that profit that we make by sell when we sell clothes, because we actually have to buy the chemicals, and we pay about 2,000 per ton, which is insane. So I've been contemplating of making the big chemical plant, which takes a huge amount of people, and pretty much needs its own water supply to operate. 119 cubic meters of water at maximum production. That is nuts. And it has a pretty big footprint too, so... Ah, it's big, it's not huge, but it's not small either. The difference is... You can use up to 700 people, and you produce almost 10 tons of chemicals. If I go on the small one, you only use 10 cubic meters of water, you produce almost a ton of chemicals. And considering it's per workday, I think with a setup of four chemical plants, which will be cheaper than the big one, I should be able to maintain the production I need for chemicals. And maybe, just maybe, get a little bit of extra. Now let's do a little bit of planning. We know we require water. That's fine. It needs water quality of 67%, which is not much. So I can give it its own water connection without impeding the rest of my water production. You need wood, which is extremely easy to acquire. Oil. I can literally just get a pipe from the refinery coming down here to feed it with oil. I don't even need to transfer it. 
um, gravel. Well, we will have gravel pretty much right next to it. If anything, it might be worth setting up a wood industry over here. Maybe. Nothing about that. Just so I can have everything really close together and sort of clean up the other area completely. Because the whole point of the other area was just to get started. So you're obviously going to produce a lot of waste, which is fine. Uh, mixed waste and hazardous waste, which is another reason I want to sort of soon get our recycling facilities going. Not before steel, fuel and bitumen is ready. And of course it needs a little bit of crops, which in the grand scheme of things it's nothing. So we're looking for gravel, wood, crops. That's three resources that I will need to bring locally. Okay, and my new plan for the chemical industry is sort of ready. Let's have a quick look at it together. So we're looking at one, two, three, four chemical plants. They both have a waste collection in between them, which covers these two buildings and these two buildings. I'm going with forklifts again. And the reason I'm going with forklifts is the amount of resources these need and the frequency they need them is very low. So pretty much one forklift can carry almost twice as much as they can actually use. Oil I'm going to bring with pipes, as we said, water obviously will come through pipes. So forklifts cannot cover gravel. So for that, I'm going to use trucks. So I set up a little open storage over here, which will have the wood. And then I will have one of those forklifts just pretty much keep topping those up. Then I have my big warehouse over here, which will store the chemicals I'm producing and is actually ha holding the crops for them to use. So I will use another forklift. So I have one here, one here. So the second one will get the crops and start distributing them. The third one will collect what is produced. And I have a couple extra because I'm not sure how frequent and how many I will need to have going back and forth. Plus, I prefer to have a bit of redundancy than just running on, you know, basic. Also, I put an aggregate storage of a thousand tons over here. What will happen is I'll have my trucks go load from here and just wait and utilize them as buffers. So they can hold about, I can even use the 35 kilometer ones, the very old dumpers that hold 25 tons and just wait here for a very, very long time until they need to go back and get refueled. And then we have a little gas station over here because they will need fuel. Now, I put a little bit of an oil fuel storage over here as a bit of a buffer, 300 tons. This will go into one pump, so one input, three outputs. So you feed this, you feed this, and the next one goes to the next pipe, and the next pipe also splits into two. Also, water. So I have a water switch over here where I'm going to bring the low quality water. It will split into another water splitter over here, which will cover one, two, three. And then I'm extending this all the way at the back with another water switch, which will give water to this one and allow me to continue if I need to give low quality water to anything else, which, as we all know, we will have plenty of buildings that will need horrible quality water. And for shoots, I kept it simple. Pretty much each one of those has its own connection. So you get out here and you connect into these shoot suites. Same with you. So all three of those into one. These funnels into another switch over here. And this will piggyback on this. And I still have another connection. And then obviously take it wherever and we're going to dump it. Now there is only two things left to finalize this setup. Power and people. So for power, I think I can get away with a single one, but I don't think it will have enough oomph 
to keep all of them going. So, and again, in case it catches fire or anything else, because we know the game loves to do that, I'm going to place one of you over here, which will cover this. And then I'm going to place another one near this end, which will be pretty easy to get a cable back here as well. And for people. So I have my train tracks here tentatively. I can branch off and go on this side. So let's say... So how many people am, am I looking to use here and maybe split over in a few other areas? So that's about 60, 60, 60, 60. So about 240 people at most. So honestly, a small train track should be plenty. Um, so let's say you go... Give me some more room so I can play around with stuff. Let's go here. I could do it with buses, but why? <laughs> so if you go that way, you can make a nice branch. And if I sort of align you this way, 180, you should have enough room to switch and do whatever else you need and then connect here. I'm not going to build those yet. I want to see what the footprint of the remaining buildings will look like before I do that. I've been contemplating putting a train here to move all the chemicals out, but the production rate is pretty slow. So I think tracks for now will be enough. Let's just give this a name. Chemical factories. And this segment is ready. Actually, I did forget two things about this. So, the people will need actual drinking water and actual sewage. So, let's just quickly throw a water substation right here. So, mirror you, go this way. You should be able to get everything over here, everything that uses water anyway. Uh, and I should be able to get a pipe out of here. You might need to move it around a little bit and make it into an interesting shape. Yeah, I can go under the building if I need to. That's fine. The key one will be the sewage. So, let's pause the game for just a moment. Sewage tank. Ideally, I want you to connect over there. Yeah, you're going to go right here. And we're going to get a pipe and we're going to connect you right here. I don't need you to be that wide. So this and this is perfect. Cool. Okay, that takes care of that. And I will need a clean source of water probably somewhere following the train tracks and pull from there. I just need to remember that you are clean water. Otherwise, we're going to have a situation. Okay. And now we have the new blueprint or the new setup for the gravel industry. So I'm going with two big gravel quarries. I put a big container, a big waste container stand over here. And this will take care of all of those buildings and whatever they produce. Obviously, conveyor belts to get across. I'm not putting an intermediate storage. In this case, I'm going directly to the gravel processing. And the gravel processing directly feeds into this aggregate storage. The aggregate storage feeds into a truck loader. So I can have my trucks go here, get what they need, and then transfer it up here. So I don't need to get a train going, just get a little bit of gravel over there. And of course, this is the train aggregate loader train tracks, which will continue and start supplying the rest of our city. Obviously, since those produce a lot of construction waste, and I suspect more of the stuff we're going to put here will have construction waste, I'm just going quickly to bring it down here into a gravel recycling, same thing we did on the original gravel industry, and immediately just convert it through. Again, water and sewage. Bus stop because people. We need a very small amount of people, so a bus will be plenty. And of course, electric substation over here, which will cover most of these buildings. 
a second one over here to cover these ones and a little bit of overflow in the middle ones. Okay, and last thing I want to finish planning in this episode is I want to get this little oil connection. Go under here. Can I get a little closer so I don't block that input? No. Okay. Can you reach? So 570 seems to be the max distance I can go. So I can get here right here. Actually go one level down so you don't have a surface node. Then I will put a pump over here. Actually make it an underground one. So something like this. You will connect here. Perfect. And you can reach. Should I use the middle node? Yes. I think the middle node will be the right one. There you go. 525 meters. So they can get working on that one. And of course you're going to need power as well. So let me give you your own little power connection. So let's say right here. And I'll plan all the wiring and the transformers on uh, during winter. I won't record all of that because no one wants to see me dragging cable across the whole republic. <laughs> and I think this is where we're going to wrap today's episode. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for names for the areas, by all means let me know. Or if you have any sp I think specific you want to see in the Republic, let me also know in the comments down below. Bye bye.